What's going on, YouTube? So, as you can tell, my voice is a bit better today. And uh, tonight I want to talk about the fact that my Fortnite account was hacked. Today I was going to play Fortnite and I logged on. Actually, I got immediately kicked off from my phone. And you know, I play on my phone and Switch. But I immediately got kicked off, which I thought was uh, weird. But then when I logged back on, I saw that the skin that I normally use, it was changed. I saw that there were additional people added to my friends list that weren't there before. And then I also noticed that just about all of my other say uh, I noticed that I gained extra levels. You would think that that was a good thing, but um, no, this is the beginning of the season. I had only played once since the season started and I had like nine completed tiers as well as like three daily tasks, which that information may go over a lot of people's heads that don't play Fortnite. But essentially, somebody had gotten into my account and had been using my account. Now, may not sound like a big thing, but it could have potentially been worse if they had spent the in-game credits that I purchased with real world money. That could have really sucked, and I would have had to go through a whole ordeal in order to get refunded money. If they had hacked the account through my phone, they could have potentially bought even more credits using my credit card information, which also would have sucked. I caught this early enough for, uh, for me to be able to reclaim my account. It's associated with my email, so... I had to go through my email and go through Epic Games in order to get that uh, get that resolved, but uh, it could have really caused a lot of issues. Fortunately, Fortnite is one of those games where if you make an in-game purchase, it's yours permanently. Uh, it can't be transferred, so nobody could have hacked my account and like taken something that I've earned or gotten and given it to somebody else. Uh, what they could have done was, if they had had it in their possession long enough, they could have merged my account maybe with another one and I could have lost my account completely. Or they could have changed all of my login information and sold my account to someone else, which would have, of course, also sucked. So there were a lot of things that could have been done that thankfully didn't happen. But uh, when stuff like this happens... Whether you believe that your account has been hacked, if it's a video game, any type of online service, first thing you do is change your password information. Cannot stress this enough. Furthermore, don't use the same password for every single service. It's not a smart move. Now, in doing this, and of course, I, I've been in touch with Epic, with, I, you know, I, I let them know, because what also happened with this was, I wasn't exactly sure how they hacked my account, whether it was through PC, whether it was through my online information for my Switch, whether it was through my online information for my phone, or even formally, which I realized this while I was filing my claim, somebody had actually linked my account to their PlayStation 4, which is kind of a stupid move because now Epic has their PlayStation 4 login information and stuff like that, but this also meant that my account could have been breached through my PlayStation 4, which way back when was associated to my Fortnite account. But uh, it actually, uh, this uh, investigation of trying to figure out how my account was hacked actually led me to a website, which I will post in the link below, as well as a caption somewhere here to, of a website that I found that will actually let you know if your email account has been compromised through one of the services you may have used before. Uh, I used it on mine and I have a very, very old email address. Um, I've had my email for probably like 18 years. And uh, and it showed that, yes, my email was compromised. It said that my email was compromised back in 2016 through uh, LinkedIn. It was compromised, like, even way further back from, like, another service, like, um, BitLY. 
I don't even know if that's still a thing. Um, old email that, oh yeah, that was like an old service that lets you like shorten URLs and stuff like that. I, I forget. And, and like two or three other, like very old services that aren't even used anymore, but there were data breaches that actually caused your email to be released to the public. Uh, used it just to test it out, used it on my mom's email, and fortunately there were no breaches through that email. And then I used it on like a, another older email that I had before, and, and sure enough there was like a, a breach from like MySpace from like way back in the day. Thankfully I don't even use that email anymore, but just out of curiosity I threw it in there. So it's a, it's a nice site, you know, there's not much you can do about it, but having the knowledge that your email has been breached, first thing you want to do is change those passwords. Because even if you don't use those services anymore, you do not want other people to have access to those services, to have access to passwords that you could possibly be using on another service. So um, this is just a heads up. Um, not too much more to say about that. Make sure that your passwords are strong. Uh, one thing that I've started using that is like, I've, I've, I've always been kind of apprehensive of using it, and that's like the keychain feature on iOS devices that saves all of your passwords to one group thing so that you don't have to worry about putting them in when you go to a website. You can use Touch ID or Face ID instead. Uh, I always keep a written record of my passwords aside from that because it terrifies me to you know, be in the habit of using that so much that you actually forget the passwords. And if something was to happen where you didn't have that available to you and had to figure out the password, you just couldn't because you couldn't remember what it was. So yeah, there's other password services like that that will like collectively keep all of your passwords or generate super strong passwords. And all you need to hang on to is that one password they're helpful. I don't 100% trust them. Anything can be breached and, and I just imagine, okay, they gain a hold of that one password and now they have all of your passwords. So I'm paranoid like that. But uh, it seems to work for some people. So if you're interested in doing that, there's probably a lot of good places. I suggest you do that research on your own. I am not going to suggest any type of service that does that because I'm not familiar with any of them. Uh, it's always, it's use at your own risk. But that's it for now. This has gone on long enough and I would be surprised if anybody reaches this far. But uh, if you have, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. This is a one a day thing in case you haven't realized it in the 131 days that I've been doing this. But with a video a day, you're bound to listen to something that's worth your while. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.